happy Flossmas Day 24 and happy Christmas Eve. It's Christmas Eve. We are having a bit of a busy day here today as is pretty normal I think with most families on on Christmas Eve trying to finish up those last those last minute chores and tasks that need doing but usually they're festive chores and tasks so that they're, they're a little bit more fun. Uh, I have now finished all of my wrapping which feels pretty darn good because there have been Christmas Eves where I have been wrapping presents at well past when I should have been in bed. <laughs> so to this year I'm feeling I'm feeling a little bit on top of those sorts of things so that's nice. As you could see from the video that I the video footage that I took of the baking that's been going on around here, John has taken over most of the family baking. I don't really know what spurred this on, but it started a few months ago when he asked for my banana muffin recipe because I think I haven't been doing a lot of baking the last few years because, well, I, I really have a terrible sweet tooth and when I bake a lot, I eat it. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure yet whether this is a good thing that, uh, that John has started all of this baking, but he's awfully good at it. So. I think maybe uh, it's Christmas time, right? So we'll uh, we'll just relax and enjoy the uh, the gift of the baking that is appearing around here, because he certainly is enjoying himself doing it, which is really 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 nice. I had a very lovely relaxed evening evening last night. A whole family, uh, John and Sarah, Nicholas and I, we all sat down and uh, were able to just relax and enjoy the evening by the fire and the Christmas tree and it was really nice. I was feeling a little bit tired so I knit a few rows of the heel flap and then I put in a few stitches in my Michelle Bendy ornament. So I just did the just did a bit of the the ivy there and uh, hopefully I'll finish this ornament up tonight. I have some time, I have a few hours this afternoon, later this afternoon with Sarah, just the two of us, uh, because John is taking Nicholas to see the new Star Wars movie. It's, it's become a little bit of a tradition, the two of them, he, John buys the tickets ahead of time, and then the two of them go and have a boys movie date. So they are going to go and see the new Star Wars movie. I'm a little bit jealous, I'm not going to lie, because I'd like to see it too, but that's okay. This is their special time. Uh, so they're going at, they're going for the 4.30 showing, so they're not going to be late or anything like that. So Sarah and I are going to make a cup of hot chocolate and coffee, and we're going to sit down and watch a couple of episodes of Grey's Anatomy. Because I know it's not very Christmassy, but that's what we like to watch when it's just us girls, when it's just us together. So we're going to splurge on a couple of episodes and um, do some stitching and enjoy the Christmas tree. And and uh, and are wearing our sweaters because what I haven't mentioned yet is that our furnace is broken again. <laughs> Many of you may remember that um, last winter. Uh, during one of the coldest spells that we had here, the furnace decided to go kaput. And my father very kindly came and replaced a part and it wasn't an easy fix. And I don't think it's the same part that's gone this time, but you know, it's Christmas Eve and my parents have plans today. And so we have called a local repair company to come out and we were fortunate enough that they agreed they could send somebody later this afternoon but it is Christmas Eve it's an old furnace so we are pretty resigned to the fact that it's probably not going to be fixed for the next couple of days and so it's kind of a silver lining to the fact that there's no snow and it's incredibly warm here at the moment for for southern Ontario at the end of December. We have temperatures today, well it's going up to three degrees so it's not hot, <laughs> it's not Florida, but it's not minus 40. So for that I am very grateful. I do miss my snow 
I miss that it's not a white Christmas this year. That is, uh, I always feel a little, a little out of sorts when it's a green Christmas. Not that, you know, I don't enjoy Christmas, but to me, I love having a white Christmas. But this year, I will choose to be grateful for the fact that it is a green Christmas since we won't have heat. <laughs> However, we're fine. We are, we are fine. We have, um, I've shown you the fireplace wall, the wall that uh, John was hanging my, my um, Barbara Russell tapestry on, the, the, um, the birds in the orange tree. That wall is kind of in the middle of a place, it, well, it's in the middle of the house, which sounds weird, I know, but that, so the fireplace, we actually have two fireplaces that back onto each other. So there's one in the living room and there's one in the kitchen. They're gas fireplaces. Uh, and so we have both of those lit. I have an electric heater here in my sewing space that I generally only use. Um, electric heating in Ontario is very expensive. So we have time of day use usage. So I'm kind of, I'm a little bit frugal when it comes to using that electricity. So I only usually turn that fireplace on. It's a, it's a little electric fireplace. I only turn that on after seven o'clock at night during the week and on the weekends because that's when our time of usage rates are lower. Um, but it is on now. <laughs> and John is gone to buy another oil heater that apparently is uh, safe to use and, and keep on. So we will not freeze. We will be just fine. Um, it's just one of those, you know, minor annoyances. It happens to all of us. It happens to all of us. There's never, you know, there never isn't something that happens in our lives that, that uh, isn't a, it, it's a, it's the bitter with the sweet. Is that the expression? So it's a story we'll remember the year that the furnace went on Christmas Eve, but it's all good. It's fine. We, last year when it went, I think I, I mentioned this already, it was bitterly cold and we were very afraid that our pipes would freeze. So we, we managed to get through that. So this is nothing like that. And we survived then, we will survive again today. So that's all good. All right, so it is, um, I'm just looking out my window and if I try to turn the camera around or move too quickly, they'll all fly away. But let me just tell you what's outside my window right now. There is a flock, a small flock of junco birds on the grass just outside my window. There must be 20, 20 of those little junco birds. They're so cute. My mom and dad call them tuxedo birds because they look like they're wearing little, um, little black tuxedos. The females are a little more gray and the males are a darker, a darker color. And they're so beautiful. They're so small and dainty. And they're out in the grass and they're just picking little bits of dead, um, must be seed grass and, and feeding on it. I have, I can't remember ever seeing a small grouping of them like that. Normally they only, normally I only see them in pairs on my porch, um, they feed off the ground under the feeder. They like to, they like to stay quite low to the ground and, and now they've all flown away, but what a beautiful sight. They're just so pretty. Oh, felt like a little, a little special, special treat. It happened while I was chatting with you. So that's nice. I'm sorry I couldn't show you, but maybe you can get a picture in your mind of it. They're very, very pretty. Um, so yeah, Christmas Eve. I was hoping to have a new cross stitch start tomorrow, but I don't think it's gonna happen because I'll have a busy day of cooking and uh, baking. Not, not, not baking, sorry. John's done all the baking. Cooking, you know, the turkey, the cranberry sauce. Our menu is this year, big turkey, uh, the cranberry sauce, peas, mashed potatoes, garlic mashed potatoes. They're delicious. Um, glazed carrots and my mother is bringing the stuffing. John is making a special treat for dessert. He's baking it today, but I'm not going to tell you about it because I know my mom and dad watch are watching these and I wanted it to be a surprise for them because it is spectacular. He practiced it um, a few weeks ago. 
he practiced making this special dessert a few weeks ago and the whole like the four of us were like yeah this is a spe really special dessert you need to make this for Christmas it's perfect so I'll I'll keep you in suspense and I'll share with you in a few days what it was because it's really good um so other than that I think that's it for me sitting down to chat with you today was actually my little break today in the middle of my day and so I'm going to get this uploading I'm not gonna do a lot of editing today I'll just uh, I'll just upload it while I have a few other uh, chores to do I've taken the kitchen curtains down to wash them because you know what it's like when you when you start Christmas cleaning is a bit different and you look around and there are so many things in this house that still need doing so I'm trying to pick and choose things that, that are more desperate than others. And I looked at the kitchen curtains this morning and I thought, oh, those really need a wash. So it's probably the last thing I should be doing on Christmas Eve, but that's okay. So they're in the wash right now and that I need to finish that up and uh, get a few more things done and hopefully be wrapped up by later this afternoon and ready to sit down and relax with my girl. Donna and Nicholas won't be late, so we'll have a late dinner and some goodies for Christmas Eve, maybe open a Christmas Eve present, and uh, hopefully watch a movie and early to bed tonight, wait for Santa Claus. So, uh, I have a little special treat for you today. And I have been so excited about this. <laughs> I've been so excited about this. I haven't seen it yet myself either, but we have a very special guest to go and visit today for Flossmas Day 24. I am going to send you over to the channel of my very good friend, Ginger Gerald Stitcher. You all know him, you all love him. He is, he is one of my favorite people in the whole wide world. And Gerald has done a very special video for us for Christmas Eve. So I hope that you will enjoy. I will leave a link to his channel in the drop down box below in case in case you're brand new to Ginger Gerald. And um, and I can't wait to see what he's got in store for us. I know what it is, but I haven't seen it yet. So uh, his video will be live on YouTube at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. My video will go up at 6 p.m. So we'll have a little bit of time to wait. And then at 6.30 p.m., don't forget to go over and check out his channel for a Christmas Eve surprise. And I hope you enjoy. And Merry Christmas. And I will see you tomorrow. Happy stitching. <laughs>